What's going on everybody? It's Mike Sunny Slip Homestead. Hey, if uh, you saw that title, that's kind of a weird title, isn't it? You know, homesteading, you know, being a burden. How could homesteading be a burden? You guys, you guys, you guys want this? You guys want this? Yeah, maybe? Here. Eat up. You little junk food junkies. All right, so if you're watching this, you just bought yourself a piece of property and you're in a hurry. You're in a rush, you can't wait. You've been watching all your favorite homesteading YouTube channels. You've been making notes. You wanna do this, you wanna do that. You wanna do a garden, you wanna do, you wanna get animals, you wanna have, you know, all these things on this new property you have. And the only thing I'm gonna ask you to do is pump the brakes, stop. Just stop for a second and hear me out. First. You have to consider a few things with, uh, you know, getting animals, for instance, is these guys, they take, you know, care, obviously. We have to water and feed them. This is not their normal feed. But nonetheless, we have to take care of these animals. They are chickens. They're, they're pretty low on the care. Uh, you know, uh oh, Ooh, one's coming to not. <laughs> what I'm getting at, they don't take much care. These are a perfect animal to start with if you're thinking about getting animals. Start with chickens. Start with a few, and they're gonna turn into like 30. Trust me, I don't care what limits you put on yourself, it's gonna turn into 30 chickens. Look at all those chickens. And the biggest thing that people run into is they, they go out and they get all these things because they think they need them or they're ready for them and they're just in such a rush to start enjoying their property but it winds up being a burden. It's, it's so much of a burden on them because they rushed into it and they didn't plan it out. And sometimes it can even ruin, ruin your property and your experience. What I'm getting at right now is you have to have a plan. Tell the people it could ruin your experience. All right, you guys, you guys are good. I'm gonna tell you about how this can ruin your experience, ruin your property. Now, my family and I, we've been on this property for about, oh, actually it's been five years to the day. Not to the day, to the month, June. It's been five years. And there were so many things I wanted to do to this property. Man, if I would have did them all right when I, when I got on this property, I tell you what, I wouldn't be happy right now. One of them was starting a huge garden. I wanted to make a giant garden. It was easy for me to turn this all into garden but I didn't and I'm really happy I didn't because well, you have to consider things that you're gonna be doing that could affect your future progress on your property. One of them is, is this right here. I wanted to put a huge garden right in this area right here. I wanted to make that whole hillside nothing but garden boxes just like this right here. But just, I wanted to span that whole distance over there. Do you guys know how much that would have cost in lumber and time, compost, dirt? It would have been a pretty penny. It would have been a good investment. Well, now that I've been here for a little bit, we wind up putting in a retaining wall. And actually, we're thinking about putting in a pool and using this as a level spot and building our deck off of here. And you know, when I first got this property, I wanted to do all kinds of crazy stuff. I wanted to jump right into it as fast as I could because these are all the things I enjoyed. Well, if I would have done that, I would have made some mistakes. I would have been upset on a few things right off the bat. Uh, one of them, like I said, was putting in this big garden over here um, where, the, where the chickens are at. I had them up where the goat sanctuary is at. Uh, it worked, they work better down here, honestly. There's things you have to consider when you're building your property up. And uh, you don't wanna rush into things, you wanna take your time. I'm gonna show you what my plans are and a little trick that I use to kind of manage the future plans of my, uh, my homestead here. And uh, it'll make sense and you guys will enjoy it. So check this out. All right, so obviously get yourself a notepad, whatever it may be, this is mine, and draw out the things you wanna do, guys. So right here, you could tell uh, this is like an aerial view of a small scale 
uh, what we want to do and change things. So I said I wanted to add a pool in the future. So this is my house here. And this is the parking area that you kind of you see right here. And then off to the side where I'm at right now, right here. Yep. I want to put raised beds, pool, such and such. I drew out how I want my pool to be elevated into the ground. This is something that's fun that can activate your brain to actually not be overwhelmed when it comes to homesteading or the property you have. You can test ideas out on paper instead of looking at this vast property that you have and try to figure out where you want everything. Now, let me show you something else in my little sketch here that may help you out because trying to comprehend all the property you have or the property that you have and using, use, utilizing it, should I say, blah, 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 properly, uh, this really helped me. So, looking at this as a whole, you know, I drew out my shop where I wanted my chickens, the drive, yard, garden beds, and I just kept on elaborating on it. And what you're going to want to do is draw out these little plans and then you can move things around because you can always crumple this up and start over and so on and so forth. This right here is something I think everybody who owns property and is new to this should do. Get an aerial photograph of your property or just understand and walk your property and map it all out. Map out all the characteristics to your property. I have a dam. I have a spring area that's low lining. Uh, there's my fruit orchard that I planted. Property lines, the goat area. Make it like a, a, a map that you can see on areas that you want to avoid. You want to put things that make sense on your property where they should be. Mine, I live on a hill, thus Sunny Slope Homestead. I have a pond down in the area right over here. And you can tell everything goes down to this property. So when I start thinking about structures, I want a topographical map that I can see elevation changes in. So I've kind of done that and put in the ridge lines here where I can see how water is gonna run, where I can put structures, how that's gonna affect runoff in my property. And it kind of gives you an overall um, outlook on what you can do with your property. That's something that we're doing around here. Um, it's just one of the little tricks that we're, we're using here on the Sunny Slope to make things happen. Because guys, this could get overwhelming so quick it's it's not even funny there's all these things you want to do and some of them they take time to do some of them take money to do uh some of them you can do right away but i promise you make the journey last otherwise you could possibly wind up doing some things that you're going to have to undo or you're going to get in a situation where you're not realizing that well i got a pig i got some pigs i got some sheep i got some goats i got a cow lions and tigers and bears oh my i got turkeys i got this you know you you went and you bought all these animals and not saying that you can't take care of them but in the day and age that we live in now feed cost is something that you have to consider before you get animals what are these animals going to eat how much are they going to eat how much room are they going to need how much uh, are the building materials going to take to um, to build the pens and proper structures for these animals to support the, the ecosystem that you're trying to build on your property? These are things you have to consider. And I know you guys won't run into things and just rush in and hopefully just go and buy stuff. But uh, it's, it's something that you want to consider and think about immensely because, well, feed costs. There's nothing worse than having to get rid of an animal because you can't feed it. If you rush into all this stuff, there's a good chance that you're going to wind up being miserable. Um, you ever heard the saying that the things I own wind up owning me? Well, that's time management here. You guys have to consider when you start going down this avenue of how much time is it going to take for me to take care of all the stuff here. Trust me, it can be real consuming. Other things you guys need to consider, well, what's pre-existing on your property that you just bought? What's it gonna take to keep that up? I'm gonna show you something that's gonna be costing me a lot of money in the near future. Check it out. Look at this wall. 
It's a huge wall. This wall, it's about 25 years old. The life expectancy on this wall, well, she's toast. I've only been here five years, so I think she's actually about, she's about 30 years old, actually. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. Pretty good shape for 30 years old, but it's gonna need replaced. And it ain't gonna be cheap. And, well, I can tell you right now, when I take that wall out, I gotta take this wall out too that you guys didn't see. Want to take a peek at that? <laughs> Let's go take a peek at that. It is rotting out. And unfortunately, there's no stopping it. That means I am gonna to have to drop all of these trees. I'm gonna to have to dig out all of this stuff. There's gonna to have to be a wall that replaces all of this. That wall is gonna be about 12 feet tall and about 75 feet long. You can do the math on that. That ain't gonna be cheap. Let's go see how, uh, how these guys are doing. Let's go see Bonnie and Clyde. For those that have followed the channel, Bonnie and Clyde are actually living in the goat sanctuary now, so. What? What, you guys act like I'm not family? What's going on? What's up? Where are Bonnie and Clyde at? Bonnie, Clyde. What's up, dudes? You guys, you just hanging out here in the, in the, in the cabin? What's up, Bonnie? Well, you're acting funny. But yeah, I hear you. We got some, we got some lumber that we're gonna build all kinds of cool stuff for you guys. I think we're actually gonna put a patio on your cabin out there. Yep, I know you'll appreciate the patio because you guys love to sun yourselves. You guys love sleeping on this at night. Absolutely love it. Huh, oh, bud? Huh? Oh, yeah. Now I'm not trying to scare you guys out of owning property or say it's so cumbersome that you can't possibly handle the struggles because it's not i we enjoy it and it you will enjoy it too but there is a time where you can get in over your head if given the opportunity and you i'm just trying to say that you shouldn't you should take it slow and you shouldn't do that just the little advice like we're just starting a fruit orchard which has been five years in the planning um we have a whole other side of this property that we haven't even touched really or even used and i could have mowed it all down and i could have done a lot of stuff over there i could have built a shop but i didn't i took it slow and i thought about what exactly i wanted to do i would have to say one of the things that i didn't consider before going down this this avenue was Who's gonna watch these animals when I go on vacation? That's a big problem, folks. Yeah, something like having someone watch your animals when possibly you don't have family members that could do that, that could be a bit of a problem for you. Who's gonna water your plants? Who's gonna take care of all this stuff that you've worked so hard to establish when you're gone on vacation? Before you establish stuff or you jump in things head first, have a contingency plan on how you're gonna maintain those things. How much time are they gonna consume of, uh, of yours just taking care of them? And you know, those are things you need to consider. Because if you don't, there's nothing worse than obviously losing what you put all your time and effort into. All right, let's go grab Miss Sunny Slope because she wants to go see the orchard. She's been dying to get back up there and uh, if I left without her, boy, she'd be mad. Let's go grab her real quick. You ready, Mama? Um, yeah. Let's go.
them in there. That's yeah. all new growth up there. You gonna get, you gonna get a little bit of shock. Yeah. Cherry. I believe that one was cherry. I don't know. We have a map for that. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Thus, the reason why I said, draw a map. 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 Draw it now. <laughs> You want to go get eggs in that bowl? Huh? Oh. Uh. I guess I could in my shoes. I can do it. I got my dirty shoes on already. I don't want your pretty little toes getting <laughs> getting chicken poo on them. Well, like I said, all things aside, those are the considerations you have when starting your homestead. Don't let it be a burden. Don't let it be a uh, an absolute nightmare. Here you go, mama. Thank you. Make sure it stays an enjoyable experience because like I said, it can become a burden really quick if you uh, dive in head first. Get in over your head. It's easy to do, especially if it's something you love doing. Uh, drive looks like i gotta get to uh fixing this driveway so appreciate you guys watching hope you guys do well on your journey see you in the next episode